a legal drama, once again facing Sean P. Diddy Combs, who's already the subject of a federal sex trafficking investigation. Just yesterday, Christian Combs, Diddy's 26-year-old son, was named in a new lawsuit alleging sexual assault by a woman working on a yacht in 2022. Sean Combs is being sued for premises liability as the person who chartered the yacht and for aiding and abetting his son in the alleged assault. Sean Combs has denied all the prior, the prior allegations against him. Have no doubt he'll des deny this as well. Here's the deal. Right now, anything associated with P. Diddy is considered cancerous. Clearly, people are saying where there's smoke, there's fire. That's not where I'm going. It could be. He could be guilty of the allegations that have been levied against him. His son could be guilty of the allegations that have been levied against him. But the reality is, is that even if they're not guilty of such things, clearly their name has been tainted severely. And usually something like this happens when you create enemies in the wrong places. Usually it's not just a byproduct of your act or your actions. There's something else that's going on here. That's not to say that he's innocent because I'll be damned if I'm saying that. I don't know. I ain't getting involved in all of that. But you've seen people get accused of things a lot of times. But the tsunami of things that are coming in the direction of P. Diddy and his family appears immense. Just the other day when Homeland Security raided his homes in Miami and L.A., remember, they cuffed his children, both of his sons, and took them outside and left them outside on the lawn while you had helicopters and stuff overhead and people filming this stuff. You saw his children in handcuffs. That was a bit demonstrative, to say the least. A bit hyperbolic, some would say. Illuminating in a lot of ways. It seems to me that Nothing is off limits for some reason, accurate or not. Allegations true or not. We don't know the allegations at this moment. It seems to me that law enforcement has their eyes on P. Diddy in a very, very big way. And I often harken back to the first installment of Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise when the CIA was chasing him. And the guy said to him, this is not complicated. You find his soft spot and you squeeze. It seems to me, again, that doesn't absolve P. Diddy from guilt. He might be guilty of what he's being accused of. But it seems to me there is a concerted effort being made to squeeze this brother. And if it has to be family members too, so be it. But then again, if your family member put themselves in that predicament, it might be a rightful squeeze, dare I say. I don't know. All I know is this. You can't find anybody that's jumping in front vouching for P. Diddy at this point. No one's done it. The closest thing we've seen to that is somebody running into, into him at a deli or a coffee shop or wherever the hell it was where Diddy put up the love sign and, and spoke for a couple of seconds. That's the closest we've seen to it. It's pretty bad, y'all. It's pretty freaking bad.